comfortably first and we're going to start the class by just finding that comfortable position, relaxing completely. And it doesn't matter if you're crossing your leg or not, just make sure you're comfortable. Just take a moment and see how we're feeling in our physical body. Often as you sit, you might notice some tension. You might notice some discomfort. Remember, we're only human being and we're always gonna have some pleasure and sometimes some pain. So let's just let go of whatever that is and relax the whole body and we take five long breaths just for our body. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale slowly and completely. Inhaling, relaxing the shoulders, the neck. Exhaling, lowering the shoulders and the spine, relaxing completely. Go ahead, do three breaths on your own, connecting with the rising and falling in your spine in your shoulders, relaxing your jaw, your tongue, your face, inviting a pleasant feeling, a total relaxation. Let's do two more breaths. And slowly lift your head all the way up, inhale, and drop the chin to the chest, exhale. And for more, just noticing the neck, relaxing the jaw, the face. And two more here, just feeling your spine, your neck. This is your last one. As the head drop in, drop chin to the chest, relax the neck, the back of the neck, and take your chin all the way over your right shoulder. Bring it back to center to inhale, and take it all the way to the left side to exhale. Now keep going nice and slow, drawing that U shape and noticing the sensation in your neck. Inviting a sense of openness on each side of your neck. A sense of curiosity as you're looking over your shoulder. Noticing how far your head can turn and look back. And four more each side, inhaling center, exhaling all the way up to the side. And last two. And notice if you can go a little bit slower, inhaling deeply and exhaling, taking to the side with a long exhale, adding a little bit more of a twist and a rotation. Perhaps you can feel that deep stretch. Two more each side. And the last one, we're gonna really take our time with inhale and really a long time with exhale.
and once you're done I invite you to come back center and lift your head all the way up and notice the echo of all this movement around your neck and now we're gonna just turn the head taking a tour going over the right shoulder the head is up and go all the way to the left and all the way to the right inhale all the way to the left exhale and keep going noticing how the whole spine is working stacking up one vertebra over the other one and straight spine so you can feel that beautiful stretch feel your midsection your waistline moving Go ahead, do six more each side. Perhaps you can feel a little bit more rotation. Last four. Three. Two. And one. And once you're done, relax completely. And we're going to come with the shoulder. We place the hands on our shoulder. And we lift the elbows up. We open the chest. So we're going to work a little bit with front of the chest and back. Focus in between your shoulders. You know, the shoulder blade. Noticing the scapula. So go back, squeeze. Imagine you have a tennis ball right there between your shoulders. How far can you go and feel that nice openness in your front of chest and nice contraction in your back? Just bring the arms in, relax the shoulder, inhale, contracting the chest, expanding in your shoulders. Now go back, do the same thing. We're gonna hold a little bit longer, maybe two breaths. Maybe feel that stretch in your shoulders, in your chest. Squeeze between your scapula. Breathe one more. And then come back again slowly to the front. Inhale. Exhale. Go back. Hold for two breaths. Feeling the expansion. Feeling. Can you go a tiny bit more? Feel the stretch more. Let's do one more breath. Really open that chest. And come back and relax. You know, two more like that. Inhale, center. Exhale back and hold and squeeze. Breathe through the shoulders. Open that heart. One more breath. One more breath. Push, push, push. And again, come back and relax. Last one. Inhale, center. Exhale all the way back. Squeeze between your shoulders. Feel your heart. How far can you go? One more breath. One more breath and come back and relax. Drop the arms, pause for a moment. Notice the echo in your shoulders. Notice the energy in your upper body. Let's give it another breath, some love and kindness. And let's come back, place the hands over the shoulders. The four fingers are in front and the thumb is back. This gives you a beautiful stretch in your palm, in your wrist. Now we're gonna bring the elbows in front as we did before, but this time we're gonna circle the arms all the way around, really slow. We're gonna do 10 today. Inhale, center, exhale, big circle. So you wanna really feel the whole shoulder region, right? Eight more. Let's go slow, let's breathe deep, and exhale really long and slow. And see if you can today make that circle, big circle. Squeeze back in the shoulder. Keep going. And we do five more here.
feeling your breath and maybe you want to hear your breath. You want to hear that loud sound of your beautiful breath. Two more. Last one. As the elbows come to the front, take the elbows all the way back, take them up and then down. And now you're going to circle around, reversing, circle back, reversing. So you're really pushing those arm back and you're feeling Sometimes we hear some popping sound. That's okay. That's why we're doing this. We bring some softness into the shoulders, some blood flowing there, and you got four more to do. And do it with nice smile, even though you're feeling tension in your shoulder. You want to just feel like, I am doing amazing. I'm doing such a good job for my shoulder. Last one. Let's put one more here. And once you're done, relax the arms. Notice the energy in your shoulders, in your arms. Pausing for a moment, enjoying this flow. One more. And bring the arms, letter T. We're gonna bring them palm to palm, elbows together. And take the arms back, expansion in your chest. Squeeze shoulder, front and back. So we're gonna do this with a little bit of speed. So inhale, exhale. One minute here to so see if you can feel that breath and the movement together. Your arms, your elbows align with the shoulder. So you don't want them to drop down because you wanna really work on that upper shoulder. Keep going, doing amazing. Just keep the arms, palm, maybe some tongue touching. That's okay. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Ah, resting. Notice the energy. Notice your heart. Strengthening your heart, pumping blood to your body. Let's straight the right leg and straight the left leg. And if you're sitting on a cushion or your block, sit on the edge of that cushion or block. So you don't want to sit right in the center. You want to kind of drop slightly the hip down. A lift tiny bit is good because this gives you a little bit focus on the back of the leg to stretch. So let's sit comfortable here and still work on the upper body. We take the arm up and down. We're doing 12 of those. really gentle movement just feeling the side of your body maybe your spine maybe your back whatever feels good for you let's do four more last one and once it's done awesome relax Working now the back of the leg. So it's okay to round the spine in this case because we want to work the back of the leg and the lower back. So you take the arms up, inhale, circle, come down and go back again. 16 of those. Inhale, back, exhale, bow. Last 10, really move slow with that exhale. You wanna 
really feel every part of your body. If you tie it in your hamstring, you will feel that. Or your back. Last four. Two more. Last one, stay down, relaxing. And let the head dangle down. Let this heavy head pull the spine down. And it's okay to round your spine. I want you totally to relax and to feel the stretch of the back of your leg. Holding for five long breaths. Yeah, when you're ready, come all the way up. So now we're going to come into tabletop and we're going to start moving slowly here. Put your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hip. And wiggle your hip just to make sure you're all comfortable with your knees, with your hip. And we're going to do five cat and cow. So inhale to lift the tailbone up and lift the head up. And exhale to round and your spine become like a dome. And go ahead, do four more very, very slow. Noticing the rounding and the expansion. Three. Two, one. And once you're done, relax completely. Take your right leg back and take your left arm in front. When you're ready, just bring your elbow to the knee and straight inhale back. Exhale, crunch, inhale back. Six more. Last three, two, one, relax, wiggle your hip. When you're ready, take your left leg back, right arm in front, balance first, keep your hip facing the mat, inhale, exhale, elbow to the knee, crunch, inhale, exhale. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Wiggle your head. Now we're gonna push the hip up for down facing dog. Stretch. Stretch the whole body. Feel your toes, your heels, your arms. And we're gonna do five of down dog and plank. Inhale, Downward Dog, Exhale, Plank. Inhale, Downward Dog, Exhale, Plank. Three more. Just working the whole body. Last two. Last one. Come back to Downward Dog and take your right leg up. This is your inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee to the chest. Five times. Inhale up. Exhale to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the chest. Last two. Last one. Bring the knee to the front and draw a U shape from left elbow to the right and right to the left. Three, two, one, go back down in dark stretch. Rest. Take your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale to the chest. Last three. To the chest. Last two. 
all the way. Last one, come back center and draw your shape. Left and right. Four, three, two, one. Back to down dog and back to child pose to relax your hands and wrists. Rest in. And when you're ready, come back to table first, and then down and down. Walk your hands to the to leg to the front of your mat, forward bend. Inhale, lift all the way up. Stretch, arms going back, and exhale all the way down, folding. Three more like that. Inhale, up, stretch. Exhale, down, folding. Last two, inhale, up, exhale, down. Last one, inhale, up, exhale, down. Right leg back, knee down, arms up. Now, you're gonna straight the front leg, like straight front leg, and then bend, straight, and bend straight and bend three more two one come back to bend hold here look up half moon stretch four three two one Come back, relax your arms on your left leg. Left hand on the left side, right arm up. Draw a rumbo over the head and look over your left shoulder. Breathe. Stretch your upper body. Breathing three, two, one. Come back, place your hands on the mat. We're gonna work with the left leg now. Straight and bend. Straight and bend. Only the left knee is bending and straightening. Two more. One. Now you're going to come in your heels, the front foot. The back of leg straight. You're going to extend, bring back. Extend, bring back. Three. Two. One, and back to knee bend, back to hands on your hip. So we're working the whole hip, hamstring, knees, legs today. And it should feel really nice getting ready. Hands down and push the left leg back into plank. Hold, drop the knees, drop chin chest down. Slide to cobra, roll the shoulder back. Come to downward facing dog stretch. Bring your right leg in front, stand all the way up for warrior one. Arms up, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, come back, straight leg, Drop your right arm down and lift your left trikonas on a triangle pose. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, come all the way up, straight arm inhale, and hop or walk to the front, exhale. Get ready for left side, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Left leg back, knee down, right knee bend it. And you're gonna go straight and bend. Lift the arms up, straight and bend. Straight and bend. Give me two more. Straight and bend. Warming up the other side if your hip straight and bend. And put your hands on your right leg. Lift the chest and stretch your left side. Breathe. 
right hand on the right side, left arm up, turn, draw a rainbow, and look over your right shoulder. Hold five. Four. Three. Two. One, bring back the arms to relax, and now half moon, arms up. Push the chest up, take the arms back. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, come back, relax, and let's come back and work on the right leg. Hands down. Slightly push your front and come back. Front and back. Working on your hamstring and your hip. And three, two, one. Back to bend. Hands down. Look up in here. Exhale, plank. Drop the knee, tabletop. Chin chest down. Slide to cobra, roll the shoulder back. Come to downward facing dog, stretch. Left leg in front, right leg back, warrior one, arms up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Straight both legs for Trikonasana. Left hand on the left leg, right arm up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, slowly lifting, warrior two, and hop or step in front to rest, Samastiti. One more round of this beautiful sun salutation with Vinyasa. Let's go. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Right leg back, knee down, arms up, half moon, inhale. We're gonna go fast now. Coming into plank. Hold. Drop down, tabletop, chin chest down, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down and dog. Right leg in front, warrior two. Arms to the side. Align your body. Breathe here, look at your right hand, hold. Breathing. Three, two, one. Give me a reverse warrior. Just change your arms. Keep your legs. Look up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back and straight your front leg. Bring your right arm by coming to Konasana, but then bend the knee. Bend, right hand down, left arm up. Hold here, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your left hand down, bring your right hand down, and walk your left leg in front. Head down, inhale, all the way up, stretch, exhale, all the way down, relax. Last one to the left side, inhale, up, exhale, fold. Left leg back, knee down, half moon, inhale, lift the arms. Go fast now, exhale, plank and hold. Drop the knee, tabletop, chin chest down. 
like the cobra, roll the shoulder back. Inhale, downward facing dog. Resting, exhale. Inhale, left leg in front, arms up, warrior two. I'm gonna change to the side so you can see. Warrior two, holding, breathing. Four more breaths. Look at your left hand. Keep the arms strong. Nice long neck, navel in. And palm facing down. Two more breaths. Keep your legs the way they are and change the arm to reverse or exalted warrior. You're looking up over the palm, over the ceiling and stretching. Three, two, one, come back to warrior two, straight the leg front, drop the arms, then bend the knee as you're coming down to ease on that hamstring and take your right arm up. You go all the way up and breathe, four more breaths. Last inhale, and slowly straight that leg, lift all the way up, and come back center with both legs straight, and resting. Let's do a nice standing, wide leg forward bend, and do one variation, take the hands behind, interlace your fingers, and stretch. Feel your shoulders, and bring that navel, your navel in, tailbone forward, to release that lower back. Good. So you can feel that beautiful glutes are engaged. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come halfway and slowly lower. Whatever lower is for you today. And breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. When you're ready, drop your arms down. Relax the shoulder. Now you're gonna walk your hands only. You keep your legs the way they are. And the left hand hold on the right side. Right ankle and lift up in here. Look up. Five. Four. Three, two, one, awesome, come back, relax completely, and inhale to the other side, lift your left arm, five, four, three, two, One, come back center, nicely relax here. Relax the shoulders and heel toe, heel toe, bring your feet big hip width apart. Bend your knees and drop your belly on your thighs. Huh? Relax, you can take your arms behind, interlace your fingers and have your belly touching your thighs. Resting. Three. Two, one, and slowly come up, slowly with the finger interlaced, working on that beautiful chest opener and relax the arms. Good. So a tiny bit of flow, then we lie down and relax into some stretches. So inhale, and as you exhale, you take the leg back into balancing. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing on the other leg and lifting the opposite leg up. So let's see, you don't have to really lift the leg all the way up. You can tap as far as you're finding that tiny bit balance in one leg, you're working on that strengthening and balancing. So whatever that is today, no expectation, no forcing. 
So squat, down chair, and then come into that warrior three balancing. Keep going. Navel in, really work with that powerhouse. Nice core. Keep going, three more each side. Inhale when you come to chair, exhale when you push the leg back. Go ahead, do two by yourself. Don't look anywhere, just focus on your balance. Whatever that is today. Last two. You're doing amazing. And last one. Good. Make sure you end with the left side. And chair and slowly lift all the way up. And relax the arms. Pause for a moment. Standing up, relaxing. Feeling the rhythm and the beat in your heart. Let's bring some gratitude that we are all here working together to tower a good energy, pushing negativities and pain away. Bringing acceptance and openness into the heart, into the body. And now, uh, just last balance we do, palm facing the earth. We stand in our toes, inhale, and exhale slowly lower. We'll count eight, halfway we stop. Seven, six, five, and hold. Staying on your toes. Our three, sorry. Four, three, hold. And we're coming all the way down, all the way down. We come to a nice squat and push the knees to the side and make that prayer hands and feel the nice stretch between the inner thigh. And you're still balancing. Beautiful balance in your toes. And when you're ready, you sit down and you relax completely. And let's do a seated forward bend, inhale, arms up. And this is where if you have a block, you wanna place them down any way you want. And we wanna really relax the body because we did quite a bit of move. Inhale, exhale. You can round the spine, that's okay. And you can come and rest your head. Maybe one block, maybe two, and relax. So I want you to really relax here so you can feel your back, your, your legs. We're doing 10 breaths here. So make sure you're relaxing. You're not expecting anything. You just want to rest. Don't think how high, how low. And last inhale. And let's come all the way up to relax. And this time, we can still use that block. You're gonna take that right leg over the left. A comfortable way, right? So make sure you're comfortable in your hip. Both hip are sitting on the mat. And we're gonna come hinge from the hip, come down. And we can use the block to relax. We can go slow, we can use our hands. Just make sure you're comfortable. Yeah, you can use two blocks if you want to. And rest.
and gently come all the way up nice the left leg that is down we're gonna bend it and we're gonna keep the right leg on top the way it is and we're gonna hold on our feet and see if we can just center the knee one on top of the other so i'm gonna turn so you can see what i mean so i'll take my time and just do this spine straight it's a beautiful external hip rotation and internal the other leg. Now place a block one or two in front. And we hinge from the hip again and come very slow. This might be very tense. Take all your time, don't rush it. You can put your hands on the block to rest. Just find what makes it comfortable for you today to feel your hip stretching. Relax the head and shoulder, your jaw, your face, your fingers, and breathe through your hip. Breathe through that beautiful resistance. slowly come all the way up if you have a strap you might need to use this this time we're gonna take the right arm up left arm behind and if you can interlace today use your strap to find that interlacing and we're gonna look over the right shoulder and we're gonna turn and look at that right elbow, right? We're coming down. Feeling the nice stretch. Your hip is not moving. Feeling the stretch in your sides, in your arms, in your shoulders. Two more breaths here. And come all the way up, inhale, relax. Look the other side, counter pose. Stretching the neck. And come back. Completely relax the arms first. Maybe release the strap and then release your legs. Resting, pausing with the leg straight first. Just come to the front so you can see everything easier this way. And we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna take the left leg all the way up. Make sure both hips are down. And the spine is relaxing. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to come slightly forward. And really slow to feel your back, your leg, and use the block to really rest. You can put your hands on the block. You can place your head down. Make the most comfortable position for you so you can stretch. Two more breaths. And slowly come all the way up to relax. And let's bend. The leg that straight, we bend it. And we start moving, holding on your feet. So we see if we can bring the knees together. This is a beautiful pose called Kumasana. Once your both hips are down comfortably, it's okay if the knees all the way up. 
place the block here and we're gonna work first just come slightly forward to see if how this hip is feeling yeah you're dealing with different hip joint now and it's different tension and so let's just relax so we can feel deep into that left side Two more breaths, breathing through whatever you're feeling, tightness, resistance, maybe pain, that's okay. One more. And come all the way up, very slow. Relax, relax. Take the right hand under. Take your left arm up. Find that interlace or use your strap. Lengthen your spine first and relax the shoulders. Inhale, lean to the left, looking over your left elbow, stretching the right side of your body, breathing, feeling your head. back center inhale relax exhale the other side stretching the neck looking to the side and come back center and release those arms nice to relax and then release the legs whenever you're ready. Diamond shape. And you can place, it's like butterfly, but longer diamond shape. And slowly come forward. Now we're gonna work on our spine, right? So make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Nice long neck. And you humble, you soft into that movement. And you can use two blocks here, or you can use your hands on the block. But you want to breathe through your back. You want to breathe through your spine. Now we're going to inhale and we're going to take the arms as the palm facing up, we're going to slide them under the leg. And we're going to keep the back of the hands on the floor. And see how far you can slide your arms. Everyone is different. And you bring your head down. You can place it on the block or no block. That's okay. And slowly come all the way up. Slowly all the way up. Very slow. So it might be a little bit vulnerable and it's sensitive because you've been going into these beautiful stretches and the body is very relaxed. So get ready for your strap. Just want to focus on back of the leg and take one block, place it under your head. And bend both knees. Relax your hip. And lift the right leg up. Place the strap there. 
and lower the leg halfway. Hold the band by the end. And your legs is halfway. If you want to work deeper and it's comfortable, you can straight the left leg down. Now, we're going to pull the leg for the count of 10 very slow. Okay? And then we hold it to stretch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and find the stretch based on your capacity. See if you can keep both legs nicely straight and just stretch and enjoy the stretch. You can use both hands, you can use one hand, but the hand is kind of over the head. So you're kind of relaxing the shoulder. The block is resting and relaxing your neck, your cervical spine. And see how much you can stretch there. The more you can keep the right leg straight if possible, the deeper you're going into that stretch. Breathing, four. Three. And gently bring that right foot on top of left for inclined pigeon pose. Take the band, place it on your chest, and you can hold behind your left side. Thread your arms under to feel the stretch. Three, two, one, and then wrap the legs one on top of the other. Take them to the left side and stretch the right hip, looking over your right side. And come back center, release the leg and rest your head. And notice your right side. When you're ready, bend the knees, lift your left leg up, lower the leg 45 degrees to relax your head. Pull the band by the end. And again, if you want to work a little deeper, you straight your right leg as well, or you keep it bended. Count of 10, we lifting slowly. 10, nine, eight, seven, keep the leg straight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and find your max. Find your stretch. And enjoy this moment, bringing beautiful opening in your body. Four, three, And one, slowly incline pigeon, bend, place on your right knee, hold, or thread your arms behind to feel the stretch. Gently drop your right foot, wrap your left leg on top, cross your leg, and move both knees to the right side and gaze to the left. And come back center, release, drop both knees to the chest, centering your spine. When you're ready, drop your heels, completely rest. Shavasana.
your breath relaxing, finding the comfort in your body, feeling the rising and falling through your breath in that abdominal stay down relaxing, noticing the breath, noticing the rhythm of your breath. to three long breaths, a full inhalation and a long slow exhalation. Deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in, Exhale. Whenever you're ready, turn to your side. And then come all the way up, seated, spine straight, face relaxed. Noticing the openness in your body. Noticing the stillness. Noticing if the mind has less activities. And relax your eyes and jaw. Notice if there is a sense of joy, comfort. A sense of perhaps happiness, a smile in your heart, in your face, a sense of healing. Feeling that beautiful positive energy flowing into the entire body, into the heart and mind. Bring the hands in prayer, bow, my love of light, bow to your love of light. Thank you so much for your practice today. Namaste.